Hi friends, I'm Walker and welcome back to All of Ave Nails where we talk about vegan and cruelty free nail polish. Today I'm sharing with you this fabulous duo from Glam Polish. This is their Glam Gleek. Glam Geek, how many, it's gonna take me a lot of times to be able to say that. This is their Glam Geek Duo. They released another one of these recently that was Toy Story inspired. This one is inspired by Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which if I have to be honest, it's probably my favorite 90s TV show. I loved Buffy. I watched it um, when it came out. My mom didn't want me to watch it, I think, because there were like witches and scary stuff in it. So I <laughs> watched it when I was a little bit older um, and kind of felt like I was getting away with something every time I did. Um, but I loved that show. I thought it was so fun. It's so campy. It's great. Um, my husband and I have rewatched it once together from the beginning to the end. And I was kind of inspired by this duo and we just started re-watching it from the beginning. We're on like episode, I don't know, six or seven and it is so fun. It's so nostalgic. I, I retained a lot of information about that show that I didn't know was still in my brain. Um, it's kind of amazing how that works. So let me know down below what your favorite 90s TV show. Were you a Buffy fan? Were you a Charmed fan? Let me know what you loved. Uh, and if you're a Buffy fan, I hope you'll enjoy these two polishes from Glam Polish. These polishes did already release, and so I'm going to link down below in the description box the link to the Glam Polish website. I tried to get this up as close to the release date as possible, um, but they're already on the website, so I will link that down below. All right, let's dive in and swatch these guys. All right, first up we have the Angel Inspired Polish. This one is called Without Passion, We'd Truly Be Dead. And Glam Polish describes this one as a dark wine jelly with strong Aurora shimmer and ultra hollow glitter. And I really like the amount of hollow glitter that's in here. I feel like in this deep base, you get those specks and they really kind of gleam out because that base is so nice and deep, but they're not so packed that you kind of lose the base. You know, I feel like you really, in the final product here, get to see the glitter, you get to see the base color, you see the shimmer, you see everything. I feel like it's a really well-balanced polish. Um, and I really appreciate this base color. It is some of my favorite colors to wear are these like super dark whiny colors, um, especially in the fall. And so I really appreciate that you get to enjoy the base color. Um, on that first coat, you know, it is a little bit sheer. You definitely are going to want to build it up in a second coat, but holy moly, look how well that builds up in two coats. You just see so much more of that base. The shimmer really comes through on two coats. It's gorgeous. I do feel like um, my second coat in my live swatch here is a little bit thicker than it was when I swatched this one for my photos. And so I think I was just um, really excited about this polish, but I definitely don't think you need to do as thick of a coat as I am doing here. So you're looking at two coats of Without Passion, We Would Truly Be Dead. All right, and then obviously next up we have the Buffy inspired polish, and this one is called No Guy Is Worth Your Life, Not Ever. And Glam Polish describes this one as a mauve crelly with strong aurora shimmer and ultra hollow glitter. And this one has so much more glitter, it is way more packed than the last polish that we looked at. The base color is also much lighter, and so I feel like you actually see that glitter really well because the base color is so light. I did find this one a little bit more challenging to remove. It wasn't like I had to scrub the glitters off my nails, but I just kind of had glitter everywhere after I removed this one. Um, I tried to be a little bit more careful when I took it off after my live swatch because I had that experience when I took the photo. Um, but just so you know, there is a lot of glitter in here, which I think makes it a very pretty polish. Uh, definitely on the first coat, it's a little bit sheer, so you're going to want to build it up in two coats, uh, but I found it to be really easy to apply. It leveled really well, um, and I did feel like I got enough opacity in two coats. You might want to do three coats, depending on if you do, you know, thinner than I do, but you're looking at two coats of no guy is worth your life ever. Awesome. For me, it was no contest. These are both beautiful, but my absolute favorite is the Angel Inspired Polish. This is without passion. We would be dead. We would truly be dead. This one is such a gorgeous color. It's like this whiny cranberry color with tons of holographic in here. The shimmer is perfect. I just absolutely love this polish. Um, and this is definitely the one that I'll be wearing. I like the Buffy polish, but I don't really wear kind of these like softer purple colors that often. Um, in my light purple comparison from Zoya, I talked about they're just not really my favorites. Um, they're pretty, but on me, they kind of feel meh. Uh, this one does have a lot of hollow in it, which does not make it feel meh, um, but still does not make it like quite my style. But I think there are a lot of you who will really, really enjoy this polish. It's very wearable, even though it has a ton of glitter in here, which I appreciate. Awesome. Again, let me know down below what you thought of these polishes. Let me know if you're a Buffy fan. I can't wait to hear from you. And as always, thank you so much for joining me to hang out and chat about polish for a couple minutes. I can't wait to do it again soon sometime. Awesome. See you in the next one.